Well, I've been driving to the to go fishing in a Honda Civic quite a bit lately, and it does feel a little bit awkward, but we're getting in the boat today. Supposedly, they're biting one of the baits that I have hardly ever caught fish on. I mean, I can count on one hand the amount of fish I've caught on this certain bait, and supposedly they're really, really biting that right now, so we can get out there and try to bust us quite a few big ones on that. Should be fun. Let's go try to catch one giant 10-pound Chickamauga deep fish. A little bit, he choked it. Yep, what are you gonna do with this one? <laughs> Bloody tail. There you go. We done yet. <laughs> Fish was loading on the side. Of the but I think this morning, because the shed's fallen, got up here chasing all this bait. Yeah. You know? I saw him something. A little bitty one. <laughs> He's eating it though. Both my bikes came from like the same place. By the way, Kelly ain't happy with those rods. He ain't happy with them? No one even close to the bottom. No, I know. <laughs> we, we could pick up a swim jig right now and catch a thousand. <laughs> back out on this break, I'll go back out to 22 and we'll parallel this break. Each way is usually where these big fish will set up when the shad get on. But just like on Pickwick, if I was sitting here, hypothetically like if the fish was here, there you go. Took me a while. You recording? You let that go swimming with it. I did. <laughs> didn't even feel that bite. First one I hadn't felt. So any of y'all that have watched my videos for very long, I've made two or three jig videos. Y'all have seen that I do not throw a football jig hardly at all, but I'm out here with a dude that throws a football jig a ton. That's him right there. His name is Flint Northcutt. He's with Fish Sticks. He's, he's big into the fish sticks, and I've been trying that today. But anyways, we're out here trying to learn how to throw a football jig. I don't do that at all. We've already probably caught 15 or 18 on it today. And now we've caught a bunch of fish on it. We're going for one more big one. So... We're putting on the big football jigs, getting out there in real deep water. We're throwing a rage crawl trailer, and we're trying to catch one more fish. Make this a hell of a day. Yeah. Coming out one or two o'clock in the morning, the summer. 
No lights, no nothing. Can't see target. There's one. I'm starting to like that hook a little. <laughs> well, Chickamauga's full of these things. You don't need to let Brandon Bates start doing this. Yeah, that sucker's gone. Look, that's a crush. That's not a good hook. That's what that's a guy called Brandon Bates said so. He'd be flying. Golly, yeah, this hook is funny shaped. I can't get it out. I got it now. That's rare for chick. You don't see very many skinny ones like that. You caught one earlier, it was skinny. Most of them down here is fat as can be. Football jigs. Basically, this has been my nemesis for a long time now. Not really my nemesis. It's not like I can't catch fish on it. I just don't throw it. There's just very little play at time where I feel like the football jig is the best bait to throw. And I'm not even saying today was the, the optimal time to throw a football jig. But we did catch a lot, lot, lot of fish on it. They're all small. For Chickamauga today, we might would have had 11, 11 and a half, maybe, I mean, maybe 12 pounds with all, you know, five our five biggest for today. But we caught a ton of fish. All on... A football jig pretty much i don't think we caught a single fish or anything other than a football jig it was fun um i've always loved catching fish on a bait that i don't throw very often and basically i'm not an expert at this at all but i will tell you my setup what i think you should do to maximize your landing ratio on a football jig basically you want to get a bigger rod this is a seven foot six heavy moderate fast this rod loads big time you know we're throwing a pretty light wire hook this is not a super you know heavy wire big hook this is actually a hook i thought was going to give us a lot of problems with this football jig this is a yankums custom tackle um football jig i think this is called the Re pro series or something like that i thought this hook was going to be trouble but i tried it tied it on and i lost one fish all day i probably caught 15 or 18 on it maybe more i don't know for sure but basically this rod loads big time this is one of the best rods i've ever picked up for any kind of deep water baits big shaky heads this little jig or anything like that this is going to be a really really good dragon rod it's super light and it loads big time seven foot six heavy moderate fast always 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 use a super fast reel if you're working the bait with the rod yeah if you're winding something you know a big swim bait chatter bait crank bait something like that yeah i'll go down in and uh, gear ratio but if i'm working the bait with the rod and taking up slack i always use 8.2 to 1 gear ratio reel 18 pound k9 100 fluorocarbon that's like the perfect you know size for getting down there and if you hook a big fish you're not gonna be worried about anything even to get around brush or something so basically this jig right here today is what we did almost all the damage on this exact color i think this is called the todd hollowell special or something like that kind of funky looking color but they eat it we actually put this color trailer on back it's called a summer crawl or something like that but basically it's really really bright it's got a lot of contrast to it and i don't think the fish care at all you know when they get down there they're in 18 feet of water they're not really picky they see something they just bite it they don't care about you know oh that's not that's you know not natural looking the further away they can see it the more likely they're going to come and get it a bunch of them today as soon as it would hit the water it would get fall like five feet and they would hit it you know the bait would still have 10 feet for it to get to the bottom but anyways it was a fun day caught a bunch of fish on a bait that i've never really thrown before that's always fun. It's always really, really cool, but it's not really something that's going to have a place in my tackle box. You know, it's not, it's not like I couldn't have caught them with something else today. I definitely could have. But anyways, it was a fun day for sure. 
you want to pick up some of these baits, you go to yankumcustomtackle.com or, you know, they're around all the places around here in, T in Chattanooga or uh, yeah, pretty much in Tennessee. But anyways, that's my rod, reel, and line. Hope you all enjoyed the video. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Me and Hunter are going out tomorrow, sir. So hit that sub button and check back.